What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L I Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Disney's Jungle Cruise is coming to theaters and on Disney Plus with premium access. What is it? July 30th. I'm going to tell you, I thought Jungle Cruise was such a fun ride. Get it right! Because it's based off, you know, the Disney World, Walt Disney World and Disneyland theme park ride, Jungle Cruise. The same stars yeah. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, and the beautiful Emily Blunt. And I'm going to tell you, they are great together. But first, let me tell you a little bit about what the movie's about. So Dr. Lily Hofton, who's played by Emily Blunt, she f finds an ancient artifact. She finds this f artifact. She wants to travel to the Amazon for the to find this ancient tree, which is supposed to give you healing power. Well, to get her there, get her there through the, the Amazon, she hires a skipper who's kind of gruff and, and a little sus named Frank, who's played by Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. And they're going to take, you know, a little jungle cruise to get there. She embarks on this dangerous travel. They're going to come across villains and, and supernatural forces and Amazon bugs and creepy crawler animals. And it turns out to be an interesting adventure. So first, let me tell you, the jungle cruise is kind of being compared to like an Indiana Jones, which I couldn't agree more. You know, also like a Pirates of the Caribbean or The Mummy. I say on the same lines as those movies. And Pirates of the Caribbean, hello? Another Disney ride. Movie based off a Disney ride. So it has definitely those feels. And if you thought, you know, is it really based off the ride? Yeah, I mean, they have many nods to the ride. Many nostalgia Easter eggs that you might find in the movie. But also, you know, what was the best part of the ride? If you've ever been on the Jungle Cruise ride, it's their jokes and puns. Like, what is it? They're like, here we go traveling to the waterfall and let's look at the backside of water. Yes, I've seen it on the cruise. And guess what? It makes its debut in this movie too. So you're gonna get a lot of like nods, silly puns, funny jokes that give you definitely that Jungle Cruise theme park ride feel. But also it's so much more. The story is so much more. Talk about action. It is filled with action. It's like an adventure. Like I said, Indiana Jones, nonstop action, nonstop fun, nonstop adventure. And I love Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt's chemistry in this. They were like great together. Their banter back and forth, like it really brought life to the movie. Now, the real standout in this was Jesse Plemons, who is the villain in the movie, but oh, he was great. Like every time he was on the screen, he shined. He stole the show with his villain character, which, I mean, yeah, he's creepy and, and villainous, but also he has that quirky silliness about him that you're just like, okay, this this villain is amazing. I had any complaints. Number one, to be about the length. How many times I told y'all I'm tired of these two plus hour movies, and this is like two hours and like 20 minutes? I mean, we can cut this down a little bit, Disney. Come on, Disney. Like, we have young kids that are watching this. They're going to have times where they're going to get wiggling in their seat and a little like, when's this going to be over? Lost in the story. This is one that you know, young ones will enjoy, but I'm going to tell you, with the length, it's it's gonna lose their attention sometimes also luckily they have some good action that to keep their attention but i'm gonna uh, my other complaint is the cgi i mean the cgi some of the animals and and uh scenes that they big time you know use cgi for the visual effects looks a little cheesy it looks a little silly kind of think of you know, Dr. Doolittle feels in those animals. That's kind of how you felt with it. Overall, I mean, hello, it's a Disney movie. Has The Rock, has Emily Blunt, has amazing cast. You know, has a great storyline, a great plot, based off a great ride, a great, you know, nostalgia ride. It's fun. 
Kids are gonna love it. This is gonna be the summer movie to see. Let me tell you a little bit about the parents' guide review. As far as language, it's very mild in the language department. Very mild. I think the strongest word you're gonna get is like hell. H-E double dot, you know, dot ho hockey sticks, ain't that you say hell? And they use some other phrases, but they kind of, you know, do those things where they change the word for it not to be a curse this word. This does have a PG-13 rating, which mostly that is because of like the violence. You're in the jungle. You're going to come across creepy things. You're going to, you know, they're fighting supernatural forces. They're fighting villains. They're going to have hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're going to, they're shooting guns, swords, spears. So that's the biggest lookout for this movie is the violence and probably why it got this PG-13 rating. Like I said though, it's coming out tomorrow, Friday, July 30th in theaters and on Disney Plus with premium access. I say get both. <laughs> I mean, this is one you kind of want to see in the on the big screen. So the visuals are fun. Even though I complained about the CGI, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole experience. And, you know, if you've already seen it, let me know what you think or excited to. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Mwah!